Hey, happy Monday. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit tense this week. I'm all hyped up this week because I've been watching some new videos that have really been getting me juiced up and ready to work. This guy, remember this guy? Jordan Belford, the Wolf of Wall Street? Yeah, he's got a TikTok and he's teaching me all about making deals and be, I, I haven't really watched that many, honestly. I don't know what he's gonna teach me, but I know that I'm ready to become the top of the top business boy executive. By the way, we have a new editor on this channel. Joe, please introduce yourself to everybody. Go ahead, do a fancy editing trick for everybody. As TikTok grows and people find out that it's a good way to promote yourself, get information out there, yada, yada, yada. More people from the mainstream come in and decide to try it out for themselves. And what happens is they start with their own type of uh, content it doesn't get very popular and they slowly adapt to what they think TikTok wants from them. So today we're gonna see the de-evolution of the Wolf of Wall Street's TikTok and see really where he's led down to get to this point. So before we get to the newest stuff, I wanna kinda go a little bit farther back in the Wolf of Wall Street's TikTok account and see what he was posting. First off, let's just watch this one that just says how to grow your Instagram following. Let's talk about Instagram first. What's the best way to build your followers? The best way to grow is to get the right type of follow. Who is this guy? <laughs> right off the gate. You don't need the most amount of followers. You need the most engaged followers. So the best way on Instagram to do this is you go live. And not just live, but think of this podcast. You and I are recording right now. Why not go live on Instagram, have the same thing where we're talking to each other, because what happens is my followers will get to know you, your followers will get to know me. So I gotta go live on Instagram to get more followers? Okay. What's up guys, thank you for coming to my Twitch live. I just wanted to see if you guys were, uh, you know, engaged followers. We wanna help grow this Instagram. Do you look like that normally or is it just a bad day? You look like you burped a lot as a rat. You look like you would play in the Target play place. Guy, guys, it's me. You know who I am. It's Nick. Please, not the yawning emoji. Come on. No. Do we have any questions from anybody? No questions either. Jo Ugh, Baba Booey. Here, oh, guys. Bye. We have another one of Jordan outside of his car on the ground. <laughs> this is like a classic. Leo DiCaprio. <laughs> Doesn't even need quaaludes. Oh, it's a reference. It's a reference to the movie about him. He does talk about that a lot. He talks about the movie a lot because, you know, that's what people know him for. So, oh, he has a TikTok with two turned Tony, the duck guy from Instagram. Take this down. Put the one up. Me, the ducks here. Two chicks in the ski mats. Of course, that's me right there. The whole on ducks right what there. What the fuck are you? Jordan, what's up, man? Get the, the fucking stay. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not fucking It's so weird that Jordan Belford has a huge framed photo of a promotion for Wolf of Wall Street with himself photoshopped in it instead of Leonardo DiCaprio. But all the same, like, actresses and actors. Is that not, like, very weird? So you can see Jordan start to go from posting content from his YouTube channel, interviews with other people, and then he slowly starts devolving into the TikTok cycle of doing these memes and, and dancing to these songs. Feels a little bit different when he's in his multi-million dollar house um, and jumping into his, his fancy pool, but you know, Gotta do what you can do for the trends, am I right? Before we keep going, let's get to the sponsor of this video, Honey. Come on guys, we all know what Honey is at this point. It is your online savings sidekick, got it? You could save money on shoes, save money on food delivery, shoes, save money on video games. Don't we all love video games? Fun fact here, when Honey finds a coupon, they save discounts of 18% on average. I did the math, guys. That's $18 for every $100 you spend. Honey will automatically cycle through all of the promo codes on a given website so you don't have to. It'll automatically work on sites that you're already buying stuff on. So there's no reason not to get it and just save money 
without having to try at all. And it's the, it's so fun. Every time I go and I buy something and I, and I get to watch Honey like start cycling through, I'm like, oh man, how much am I gonna save? It's like a slot machine, but you don't have to pay for it. Well, I guess slot machines give you money, but, but you know, you don't lose money. And guess what? If you didn't hear me say it before, it's completely free and you can get it now at joinhoney.com slash Nick is not green. And if you're worried about whether or not this is legit and I'm not a trustworthy source, Honey has over a hundred thousand five-star Google reviews. Honey, thank you for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. This is where we get to the reason why I decided to make this video. He started doing these TikToks where he watches a video and then just gives like a really short comment on it and doesn't really like add to it at all. And it feels like it should be much longer, but that's the whole video and he gets like millions of views on him. And he's just sitting down at a table. The first reason I actually saw his account was because of this TikTok here. I am watching capitalism destroy the fabric of human society as we know it. What an ignorant fucking statement that is. If you hate capitalism that much, then why don't you move to Venezuela, but take a piece of fucking bread with you because you have to wait in line one week to get one. So yeah, really great response from someone who, one, hasn't lived in Venezuela before, and two, who, you know, stole money from working class people to get rich and kind of had to cheat the system in order to make money with capitalism. I'm no political, you know, scientist. I don't know all the fancy terms and all that, but I do have someone here who just actually popped up on my main page without me even looking it up who can explain it a lot better than I can. If you hate capitalism that much, then why don't you move to Venezuela? Oh, you messed up, Jordan. I've been waiting for you to slip up and say something dumb on this app, you human embodiment of capitalist greed. See, I was interested in socialism in college and I had a professor ask me this question, why don't you move to Venezuela? But when I tried to ask questions and get details about what was going on, the only answer I could get was they're poor because they're socialist. And I was like, well, that makes no sense. So I guess I'll write my senior thesis on it. And what I found in my research, Mr. Belfort, turned me into a socialist for life. Western capitalists like you sucked the oil out of Venezuela for years until that's what their economy was dependent on. And when the Socialist Party won election, they kicked these Western multinationals out and reinvested a lot of that oil revenue in social programs. This decreased poverty by 25%, illiteracy by 49%, homelessness. So the U.S. put 160 sanctions on them and surrounded the country with our military so we can steal anything they try and trade. So you see, Jordan, Venezuela didn't fail. They're being strangled to enrich losers like you. You move. Boom. I feel like there was like a bully picking on me and I brought in my big brother to like explain to, to like do the fight for me. That was pretty awesome. That one had a lot of, you know, depth to it. There was a lot to talk about, but the rest of these are just very odd. I'll just play one for an example. Some people say I do coke, but I don't do coke. I do Pepsi. <laughs> There's a better than 70% shot that this woman has a dead cat in her freezer. Just listen to that maniacal laugh again. Just listen. Like, that's the whole TikTok. Then they tell you to follow him. Just listen to that maniacal laugh again. Listen to it again. And in the original TikTok, it just says, wait for the Wolf of Wall Street's response. And they act like he gave, like, good commentary on it. It's like a commentary video, but... I guess he just does what I do. Who am I to even be talking about this guy? All these years, all these videos I've done over the years, it's just, I'm just doing what Jordan's doing here. Who am I to even be making fun of him? Let's watch another one. What is something people are not ready to hear? That being broke is a choice. Being broke is a choice, guys. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> That wasn't me, I was quoting, I was quoting him. I'll let the comments do the speaking for me. Aren't you $97 million in debt? Aren't you the guy who stole tens of millions of dollars and still owes that money, but avoids it because America's laws and corruption? By rich, you mean theft and fraud, right? This guy could not get rich without cheating the system that America put in place. Everyday normal American people, if you're born into poverty, chances are you're gonna die in poverty. And that's not your choice. Do you really think everyone who's poor just likes being poor? If you say yes to that, uh, I, I'm gonna guess that you're not poor. You cannot coach people on whether or not they can be rich and whether or not they can make money if you didn't do the same system to make yours. Almost every hand you've ever shaken has had a dick in it. Whoa, I did not expect those words to come out of that woman's mouth. Am I wrong? <laughs> like, what is, <laughs> what is this content? It's like dad Facebook content, but somehow it gets billions of views. And was that even that girl's voice? No, it wasn't. So that wasn't her saying it. Also, what? what's the joke? Oh, it doesn't sound like something that a 
this lady would say, that's a good one, Jordan. Better hit that follow button. Do you want to know how I keep my man happy? I let him play with my mom. That is some fucked up shit, even for me. I need a shot. Like, do they go out to his backyard and they're like, we're going to make you watch this. And then you're just going to say something for five seconds and that's the whole TikTok. Yeah, that's 2.3 million likes right there. Imagine if that was my whole video. I just watched something and I was like, that's messed up, guys. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. People who lose their virginity later in life, 19 and up, generally have a higher income, education level, and inch thick calluses on their left hand for masturbating the first 18 years of their life away. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Who, what? I don't know if that's a real study or not, but guess what? I also don't care because I'm not so worried about whether or not you're a virgin or not. Like, freaking Jordan here. Tell me I'm wrong. Oh, This is just like the decay of modern Western society, seriously. How is this the decay of whatever Western society or whatever he said? It's just people singing to a song. There's many worse things out there that could be considered the decay of modern society. Biggest waste of money. Getting a degree in gender studies. He reminds me of like someone's Republican dad or something. Gender studies. What could that be used for? I could name an um, infinite amount of things that are a bigger waste of money than getting a degree in anything. What about buying one of uh, Jordan's courses? What about going to listen to him speak? What about buying one of my one of my merch pieces for $50 at nickisnotgreen.com? We have a few smalls left. That's the only size we have left. If you're a small person, consider getting it. All right, this person has asked this question 10 times. They get an A plus for tenacity. I'm going to answer it now for all of you. The question is, what is the secret to success, Wolfie? Well, listen, obviously there are many things involved in success, but one overarching crucial principle is that to achieve success, you must Get yourself to do the shit that you know you have to do. It's easy to do the stuff we love doing, but there's some stuff that we don't love doing that must get done to be successful. I promise you, once you start doing that, you will soar to success. This is what I say every time there's some professional person giving advice online and they're famous because of the personality they put online and not what they're actually doing. They don't say anything. The advice here for success was, to do what you have to do, even when you don't want to do it. Does this guy think that's a valuable piece of advice? If you're American and you think America is the best country in the world, can you please give me a genuine reason? You know why America is the greatest country in the world? Because you make a massive mistake, go to jail, lose everything, learn from it, and have Leonardo DiCaprio play you in a fucking movie. That's actually true. That's in the uh, Constitution. They tell you that if you accidentally mess up and go to jail, and you make a mistake and you learn from it, then Leonardo DiCaprio has to play you in a movie by law. Well, guys, I've learned the secrets into how to be the Wolf of Wall Street. <sighs> I'm gonna try to react to a funny TikTok, and then I will give my, my Jordan Belford reaction to it. Okay, here we go. Number 12, cock. You can't tell me that this guy has gotten laid once in the past three years. Tell me I'm wrong. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please just smack that subscribe button and punch that bell with your bare fist to see a video every single Monday. You want to buy some merch? We have a couple little smalls left. Nickisnotgreen.com. If you want to be a part of our monthly sticker club, go to patreon.com slash nickisnotgreen. Our July stickers were just sent out, but if you want to get in on the August ones, get in there. At nickisnotgreen are my uh, socials on everything. Hit me up on Instagram, Twitter. If you want to see updates about me, twitch.tv slash nickisnotgreen. I don't know if you've heard. I stream every single night. I'm playing Minecraft. I'm playing Rust. I'm playing other games too. And thank you again to Honey for sponsoring this video. Bye. It's time for the T3 Patreon reading. Yeah. Alex Craft, Martina Jocelyn, look at me on 3006. Master Collection, August Bleep, Luke Jamini, Average Me, Courtney, Britney, Tierrando, Alex Craft.
Silence in the chambers A crystal device in your face You need a radical Jessica Burnett, bring the music back in. I'm not done saying all the names back. Bring it back, bring it back in. What was I? Valerie Oven, 6969, Captain New Flash, Sydney Gordon, Jordan, Zachary, Evil Beeps, Nadam, Boar, and Mothray, Sarah Viola, 